This video is brought to you by Soccer.com, North America's largest online soccer retailer. Be sure to use coupon code 10SR4U at checkout for 10% off any order of $75 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com with a video today to talk about breaking in your soccer shoes. I've noticed that I've been getting a lot of questions lately asking about how I should break in a particular soccer shoe. And I know I have touched on this particular subject before in past videos, but those videos were a long time ago and I thought I'd make an updated video that hopefully should be helpful for everybody. Now, the first thing that's really important to note when you're breaking in a brand new pair of soccer shoes is that it takes time. Every single shoe is different. Some shoes are more comfortable from right out of the box. Some shoes are less comfortable. It really has to do a lot with the stiffness of the sole plate, the stiffness of the upper. If it's a leather shoe, if it's a synthetic shoe, there's lots of variables. And I wouldn't say that there's a specific method that goes with a specific model, if you guys know what I mean. So if I have a pair of Nike Hypervenom Phantoms, there's nothing that I should specifically do differently for that particular shoe than I might do for a different model, let's say an Adidas Predator LZ2. So if you guys get what I'm saying, it really doesn't matter what shoe it is, it just is important that you break them in slowly. Now I know the first thing that a lot of people want to bring up is the hot water trick. This is something that is very popular. A lot of people kind of caught wind that Cristiano Ronaldo was soaking his soccer shoes in warm to hot water um, just to break them in more easily. Um, if he does that still, I'm not completely sure. This is when the Superflies were around, which was a very, very stiff soccer shoe. But the reason why I do not recommend the hot water trick is because it's an unnatural way of breaking in your shoes. And what a lot of people don't realize is that it doesn't actually break your shoes in any better. All it's doing is breaking them in more quickly, but in the same, at the same time, it's potentially hurting the structural integrity or the longevity of the boot itself. And the reason why this is, is because whenever you expose a soccer shoe to excessive amounts of heat, whether it be in a bucket of hot water or even on an artificial grass playing surface on a hot summer's day, you really are kind of hurting the glues on the inside of the shoe, which actually kind of um, keep the sole plate and upper attached to each other. So if you do melt those glues a little bit, once they've been heated up and then kind of dried up again, it really weakens the structural integrity of the glue itself, which could potentially lead to a premature rip between the sole plate and the upper, um, which is something that obviously you want to avoid. So that's really why I'm against the hot water trick. You want to avoid excessive heat to your soccer shoes. Yes, it will break them in a little bit more quickly, but is it really worth it in the long run? Probably not. So like I said, break your shoes in slowly. Every shoe is different. If you find your shoes comfortable right off the bat, then go ahead and wear them. Do nothing differently than you would normally do. If they are feeling a little bit uncomfortable, then my recommendation is to wear them very, very lightly. Whether it be light jogging, just a little bit of dribbling, avoid shooting the ball, um, anything that's really kind of high intensity and high impact on the shoes themselves, whether it be striking the ball or sprinting quick cuts and stuff like that, that's where you're going to develop rubbing and blisters. And because the shoe may be a little bit stiff and the creases may be a little bit uncomfortable and new to your feet, that's where you're gonna have issues with blisters. Um, there really aren't any shoes currently out there on the market that I would say um, are going to give you blisters 100%. It's really down to the wear. Pretty much any shoe can give you blisters if you give it the opportunity to do that, if that, if that makes sense to you guys. Um, if you're wearing a pair of shoes for the first time and it's been about an hour and you feel a little bit of discomfort in your heel or wherever it may be on your foot, it's likely that a blister is developing. So the best thing that you can do as soon as you feel a little bit of discomfort, switch back into your old shoes or switch back into a pair of shoes that you know you're comfortable with. And uh, obviously, during your next session, once it's completely new, you're gonna put your shoes back on, and again, wear them until they stop feeling comfortable. And that's really how the break-in process should be. Once the shoes feel completely comfortable for the entire playing session, generally that's when a shoe is broken in. And this goes for both leather and synthetic boots. It's really all about comfort and you just have to kind of feel it out, break them in slowly. Like I said, avoid high intensity, especially during the first and second wears. Um, and you shouldn't ha run into any issues with blisters. One last thing to talk about is of course your socks. Very, very important when you are breaking in a pair of soccer shoes. And again, this is different for everybody. If thinner socks are something that makes you more comfortable, wear thinner socks. If you like something a little bit more padded, if you wear double socks, 
go for that. Even something like True Socks can really help the break-in process of the shoe. And if it's something that you're getting blisters with frequently, it's not necessarily a break-in problem. And it's just the fit of the shoe. Again, True Socks is definitely a great fit for that. I'll leave an annotation on screen to a True Socks video just so you can get a better idea as to what exactly those are. So that's pretty much it as far as my video on breaking in shoes, guys. The key here is to avoid excessive heat. Break them in very, very slowly. Avoid high intensity kind of activity when you are wearing the shoes for the first couple of times and just be patient guys avoid getting blisters as soon as you start feeling a little bit of discomfort take them off and wear something else um, so other than that guys if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below if you did enjoy today's video be sure to support it with a like um, subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest soccer gear you can find all of my social media links down below in the description and other than that guys hope you enjoyed today's video and as always thanks for watching